Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I know I already uploaded a video today, but I thought I would upload another one just because I think it's super important and there's some changes being made and I just wanted to make sure you were aware of it. So if you want to hear about it, stay with me. Okay, there's actually two things. One of them's not necessarily a change, but just something that I completely overlooked and I just wanna get some clarification and just make sure that everybody's doing the right thing on it. But first, let me get to the one that kind of blew me out of the water the other day. I got the paperwork for our qualifier and it said that the core values has been, been taken out and it's gonna be added to the project. So that was one of those, whoa, that's just something that I'm completely not used to. So one more time, the core values, and you might have to check with your region to find out if they're doing this. I know the region that we're in, everybody's doing this for the qualifier. The core values judging has been taken away. You know, it's not separate anymore. It's going to be put together with your project judging. And it said there's going to be a question at the end that they're going to be asking the teams to kind of then, you know, get their core values score. So it's just one of those things where I'm like, okay, um, a little different. And it's just something that, you know, like we always have to do, like the inspection area, we're just going to have to ad you know, adapt and adjust. So one more time, and you might have, again, have to ask um, your region about your qualifier. Um, is the core value separate or is it together? So for the SoCal uh, region, it's now core values has been put together with the project. Check your paperwork and see about that. The next one is going to be at the table. So let's go to the table. Okay, and the second thing was the design and build and the innovative architecture. Um, so if we go to the rules, here's basically what the rules state. That there are gonna be independent stacks. So that's just one of those things where we have been stacking it like this, wow, ever since we've been practicing. And you can see how this is not independent, where this innovative architecture is right up against the design and build. Um, so that's something that, you know, we need to take a look at and figure out, okay, how do we get this to be independent? So this might be one of those cases where we put the de design and build in there and maybe come back and put the innovative architecture like so. Um, but we're just gonna have to, maybe ha it takes, you know, going to the qualifier, doing a practice round and seeing what the judges say about either having it there or I mean, the way it is right now, or see if we're going to be able to stack it next to it and see if they even say anything. So we're ready to go either way. If we cannot do, um, you know, if we can't put it within the design and build stack, then we're just going to have to possibly do something like that so we can get those uh, innovative architecture points. Just in case that you have, you know, overlooked that like I did, I just kind of read over the independent part right there and didn't really think about this innovative architecture not making this design and build independent. Okay guys, so I just wanted you to be aware and I didn't want to wait till next week to tell you this because like us, some of you are going to go to your qualifiers this Saturday. So I just thought I would make this a super important video to insert. So one again, just be watching about your core values that you um, check to see if that is being implemented with the project that would be something you definitely want to tell your team about and also about the design and build and innovative architecture um, maybe having a backup plan if you can't put your stacks and your innovative architecture together figuring about figuring out a way to put that architecture in there without it touching your design and build stacks okay guys i just wanted to be informative give you a heads up in case you know because that's what we do here on youtube right we keep each other in check so thank you guys again for watching hope you're still having fun with city shaper i am mr hino from mr zagor robotics i'm out